Hello once again fellow Unity developers. So when we last left off we were working on the enemy's AI and in this episode we're going to try and pull together all of the various things that we worked on and you should start seeing the game coming together. So that's exciting stuff. Let's jump right in. Now in this game we're going to want to make a lot of different types of vehicles and we want to make it very easy for ourselves to add new ones or to tweak parameters and we're going to want all of these parameters in one place. So let's make a new script. We're going to right click create C sharp script. And we'll call this bullet hell game manager. So let's open that up. And at the bottom of this class, let's make a new enum called car type. So we're going to go to public enum car type. Analog player muscle and biker. Now each of these different car types will have different kinds of settings for our game. So let's just take a quick look in Bullet Hell Enemy and Bullet Hell Player, and you'll notice that we have a lot of kind of variables here that we use to describe our cars, various settings. So we can do this in a much cleaner way. So let's get rid of these variables, and we'll do the same in our enemy here. And let's make a new class in Bullet Hell Game Manager called Car Data with the same variables. So we'll go public class car data. So we're going to add a vector public vector to acceleration. We'll have a public flow projectile speed. We'll have a public flow projectile cooldown. We'll have a public flow projectile damage. And we'll have a public flow health. As well as that. We'll want a constructor to be able to create our class here, so we'll go public car data, and we'll just throw all of the variables there into the parameters for this constructor. So we'll go vector two acceleration, and here we'll actually assign these values. Okay. So there's our class which will be holding all the data about our various car settings. Now to make our lives very easy, we can use a data structure called a dictionary. And if you're familiar with Java, this will be called a map. A dictionary can be used to link one value to another value. And we can use it to link car type to all of the various information about the different cars. So let's go ahead and do that now. So at the top of our bullet hell game manager, we'll make a new public dictionary and we'll use these arrow brackets and inside here we have two values the key and the value so our key is going to be car type and this is going to link to our car data then we'll give it a name car data dictionary equals new dictionary car type car data and that's our dictionary now we can actually initialize this dictionary just like we did before the enemy's moveset so let's do this by adding some curly brackets here and we'll put it down like that. Now we can open this up with another curly brackets in there and here is where we can start entering our values. So it's better to show than explain this. So we'll go car type dot player and then the second thing here is going to be the car data. So we'll go new car data and in this constructor we'll go for our acceleration Move vector 2, 14, 15. This is going to be our projectile speed, so we'll go 20. This is going to be our cooldown, so it's going to be 0.1F. Projectile damage is going to be 10, and as health is going to be 100. So that's our player's data. And I'll just need to close that off with a parentheses. And so we can copy and paste this down, and we can make settings for our muscle cart. So we can go cart type.muscle. And let's replace the 1415 with 5 and 5. These projectile speed will be 15. The cooldown will be 2. We'll keep the projectile damage the same and we'll change the health to be 50. And we'll copy that over once more. We'll change this to our biker. And this guy's speed will be 70 70, which may be a bit too fast for now, but we'll be able to change that later on. We'll keep the speed the same change his cooldown to be 0.1, keep the projectile damage the same, and we'll make the health 20. 
So this is real handy to have all of the variables in one easy to access place. Now, in order to use this data, we'll need to make our bullet hell game manager a static class. So we'll go up here, we'll go public static dictionary, card data dictionary. So now we'll be able to access this from all of our other classes. So we'll go public car type car type. And this is going to hold whatever type of car this car is. And let's make a new function called initialize car. So we'll go private void initialize car. And here what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve all the data for whatever type of car this is based on its car type. So if it's the player, it'll get the player's acceleration, speed, and etc. So what we can do is we can go car data data equals bullet hell game manager dot car data dictionary and we can access the key by using our car type. So there's our data. Now we can begin to set our car settings with that according to that data. So we can go health equals data dot health, acceleration equals data dot acceleration. Now here we have a shoot cooldown equals data dot projectile cooldown. So I'm just going to show you a little thing here. So I believe I should have called this projectile cooldown at the beginning of our project. But what we can actually do is if you want to rename something, we can highlight it like this. We can go right click, rename, and then we'll be able to type in a new name. So I'll call this projectile cooldown. And press enter. And now this is going to be renamed across multiple files. So all references to shoot cooldown are now going to be called projectile cooldown. Okay, so let's keep going. So we'll have projectile damage equals project data dot projectile damage. And finally we'll have projectile speed equals data dot projectile speed. Okay, perfect. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to make this bullet hell car script to be a virtual. So we'll make it protected. Virtual void star, so this means that our child classes can override it. And just in here, I'm going to type initialize car. Okay, perfect. So let's go into our bullet hell player script and let's override this star function. So we'll go protected override void star. Now, at an earlier point, I mentioned that child classes can override virtual functions, and that's true, but not only that. The child can also call the parents function. So if we type base.start, what's going to happen is it's going to call the function, the start function of our bullet hell car. So we can actually initialize our car at the same time as overriding this start function. So let's go ahead into our bullet hell enemy and we'll do the same. So we'll go protected override void start. And we'll call base.start. Okay, so let's check out our changes in the editor. So you'll notice that on our enemy, we have a new variable called car type. So here we can choose whatever type of car this is. And we can even set our player to have various settings. So we can set him to be the biker and it'll move crazy fast. Or we can set him to be the muscle car and it'll move exactly like our old enemy. Now we can actually generalize even more than that. So let's keep going. We'll go into our bullet hell enemy script and we'll go to the bottom and we'll get this public class move. We'll copy this whole class and we'll put it at the bottom of our bullet hell game manager. And then we'll go back to our bullet hell enemy and we'll also want to copy just the value so this equals bit for our move step. Just like that. So if you go back into Bullet Hell Game Manager, the same way that we made a dictionary for our car data, we can actually do the same for our move sets. So let's make a new dictionary. It's going to be a public static dictionary. The key is going to be car type. And what we'll be linking it to is a list of moves. And we'll call this a move set dictionary. So just like our car data dictionary, we can also initialize this right here. So we'll go equals new dictionary and we'll let the autocomplete complete that for us. Then we'll open up our curly brackets. And we can enter in the values as such. So we can go another set of curly brackets, 
hair type dot muscle, and we can paste our move set from volatile enemy. We'll just get rid of this equal here and tidy up a little bit. So now what we've actually done here is we've linked the car type that muscle to this particular move set. So it's easy to see how you can create multiple kinds of move sets for different enemies. So let's do it for our second type of enemy. We'll just copy this, make some room, paste it in, and we'll do it for car type that biker. And for a biker, what we're just going to do is we're going to move straight for 10 seconds. So in order to be able to use these values, let's go into bullet hell enemy. And just like we've set our card data in bullet hell player, we can retrieve the move set for whatever type of card this is. So let's make some space here and go move set equals bullet hell game manager dot move set dictionary and we'll pass in the card type. So let's see what these changes have actually done. Go back into our editor. So we'll put our muscle car over here. We'll set his car type to be muscle. We'll duplicate him and bring it over here. And we'll make this one called biker. So let's see what happens. You can see that the biker moves like a biker and he has the fire rate settings that he should. And so does the muscle car. Also, the new microphone will be arriving very soon. So the quality of the tutorials should improve greatly. And I would also like to thank people for their support and that I'm glad that you guys can find this useful. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.